A nine-year march toward justice has finally come to an end for the family of Dylan Redwine. Dylan was reported missing by his father, Mark, on November 19th, 2012. He was on a court-ordered visit to his father near Durango, when, and his remains were found both in 2013 and 2015, just miles from Mark's home. Two years later, Mark was indicted on charges connected to Dylan's death. And then in July of this year, he was found guilty of secondary murder and child abuse. That leads us to today, Mark Redwine being sentenced to 48 years in prison. Denver 7's Liz Gillardi listened to the, today's hearing and the emotional testimony by members of Dylan's family. As I stand here today, I think about what has transpired in the last nine years. Nine years of pain, heartbreak, years spent searching for answers and for the body of 13-year-old Dylan Redwine. The past nine years without Dylan have been nothing short of misery. Dylan's family stood up for him in court, addressing the man who killed him, Mark Redwine, Dylan's own father. You knew where Dylan was the whole time we were looking for him. Samson. Ever since Dylan went missing, the community has rallied around this family, searching alongside them. But the now convicted killer was never there. This crime is aggravated on so many levels. At every turn, at every opportunity, Mark Redwine has maximized and prolonged the suffering of everyone involved in this case, especially Dylan's family but also this whole community. Because of those aggravating factors, Dylan's mom, Elaine Hall, and brother, Corey Redwine, asked for the maximum sentence. The judge agreed. You still take absolutely no responsibility for what you did to Dylan. I have trouble remembering a convicted criminal defendant that has shown such an utter lack of remorse. Redwine has called the case a sham trial. He plans to appeal and did not address the court during his sentencing. The words we speak, um, they never resonate with Mark, and so it's just kind of a waste of words. And honestly, the last nine years, um, you know, just listening to all his lies and and his silence. Um, at this point, it was more about, you know, the peace I needed for myself and my family than any anger or resentment I have towards him. He can work that out for the next 48 years. 48 years for killing his own son in a case that took years to finally find justice. Liz Gillardi, Denver 7.